we see a hammer or a small pepper you see compared to this one very very small but newton's calculation says both having the same gravitational force it is unbelievable for us certainly unbelievable but newton derive it we may see the derivation and prove it is yes. but certainly we could not be believe because it is in kilo gram it is in milligram but newton says and prove the gravitational force acting on the hammer and the this small paper are same how it is we are going to see them and prove it every object attract each other these two pen attract each other that is newton's approach but we see them it is not attracting one is the magnets attract other objects not attract but he proved yes in space 1965 space grabbed up russian also proved that in the space not here let it be m1 and m2 mesh of the object two objects it is uh, attracting each other in the ratio of its a product of mesh and the ratio of inversely proportional to that distance square that's all from that we get the derivation f is equal to g constant m small m the whole divided by r square how this is mass of the earth this is mass of the object this is the space gravitational constant this is r distance of the square here we take two masses one is earth mass capital m object of a stone or anything uh, its mass is small m radius r force acting on the mass this mass experiences a force that is f is equal to you see here f is equal to g constant m capital m small m by r square that's all we get from this uh, we know newton's second law says force f is equal to f is equal to m g anything force acting on a mass is equal to m g so we equalize them this one and that one that is is equal to g capital m small m by r square that's all small m or cancelling so f is equal to g is equal to g m by r square from this equation we noted that force acting gravitational force acting on a any object is 
independent of of the mass of the body small m that's all the secretion shows that g is independent of the mass of the any body m that's all from this we get the answer hammer or pepper is not dependent of its mass it is constant value of gravitational force acting on it gravitational force is constant but its acceleration may be velocity may be different force may be different that is another calculation so we prove the gravitational force acting on the hammer and the pepper or same so what a great talent brilliant of scientist newton and we salute them we are always gratitude them thanking you all